This conference will now be recorded. Thank you. I'd like to call the Site Plan Review Committee to order for Tuesday, May 17th. Roll call, please. Mary Kudowski? Here. Dennis Persick? Here. Gary Paul? Here. Chris Atkinson? Here. Gil Finn? Here. And Kurowski and Pamper are excused. Please stand yeah, for the pledge. Drunk. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. And please remember our men and women throughout the world in uniform. I have no changes to the agenda. I need a motion to approve. Move to approve as presented. Motion and a second to approve as presented. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, I need a motion to approve the site plan review minutes from May 3rd, 20. 22. Second. Motion and a second to approve those minutes. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Number six, review plans for the following locations. 6A, action regarding requested site plan review for U.S. Venture Center tenant signage 1175 Lombardi Avenue, parcel VA-1513. Aaron. All right. Uh, just bring up the uh, signage uh, that you can see on screen. Uh, as you can see, the uh, signage is for Breakthrough Fuel, uh, CLA, and, uh, and Myron. Uh, pretty minor signage, quite honestly, uh, for, the, for the scope of the building. Uh, it had to come before the Site Plan Review Committee because under the approved PUD for the office building, uh, all tenant signage does have to come through uh, for Site Plan Review Committee approval. Uh, staff saw no issues with the proposal and have no recommended conditions of approval. Aaron, uh, I talked to you this morning about this. What wall is this on? We kind of, what, 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 what street? Lombardi or? It'll be on Marley. On, on Marley, it'll Correct. be on the west wall. Correct, if you look at the, uh, the photograph there, you can see the, uh, the parking lot uh, up against the building, which is on the uh, Marley side of the building. Okay, all right, now I understand. The size and everything fits within the ordinance, uh, as I'm sure it is. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Thank all you, right. Motion. And they do have room for one more tenant. I noticed there's an empty space on the bottom there. Um, okay, uh, if there's no other questions, I'll move to approve as presented. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve as presented. Any other comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. 6B, action regarding requested site plan review for a patio addition at Ashwabnan Lanes, 2929 Allied Street, parcel VA-228-14-K-77. Aaron. Aye. 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 All right, uh, as indicated, uh, the requested site plan is for a patio addition to a Schwabadon Lanes. Uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, the patio uh, will extend out here. Uh, this would be on the, I believe, the south side of the building. Um, it'll be 12 foot 3 inches by 53 foot 8, uh, include decorative fencing with pergola style overhead joists. Uh, it does have uh, egress. Uh, on both the east and west sides, as well as uh, to the building. Uh, Steph uh, had no, uh, no recommended conditions of approval. Any comments, questions? It seems as though a lot of places are putting these outdoor patios on their, on their businesses. A lot of people like to be outside and, and uh, we're getting more and more of these requests, so. I don't have a problem with the patios. Everybody's going to it. Uh, Kovic pushed everybody outside rather than inside. Aaron, the only question I have, and this has started a long time ago, the doors on these patio entrances or exits, they still have to come in through the main entrance, outside back into the patios and then reverse inside and back outside through the main entrance of the building? Or what do we have for swinging doors on the patio fence? So there, uh, 
due to egress requirements, there are two uh, gates that allow for outside access. So if you're in the patio, they will allow, they have crash uh, gear on there, crash latch that you can push and exit uh, to the east and the west outside of the patio itself. Uh, but to get into the patio, you will have to go through the building. Uh, does that allow to take drinks outside of that patio then? No. Yes, it would. They would need to amend their uh, liquor license uh, description to allow for drinks in that area. But to take them out into the parking lot? Into the patio itself. Into the patio, understanding. That is a, correct within the uh, license, they got to show that. But I'm saying if they bring drinks outside of the outside into the parking lots. That would have to be amended into their description uh, as a, and a, be a process for uh, public works and protection and the uh, village board when you amend their, their liquor license ordinance, if they'd request the parking lot to be included, which I guess that'd be a decision for the committee and the board at that time. Uh, but that's not my indication. I've not been, uh, nothing's been indicated that they're looking to take anything outside of the patio at all. I'm not saying they are, I'm saying if a patron wants uh, Then they'd board. be in violation and they could be ticketed. Okay. All right, I just wanna make sure that it complies with the liquor license and the rules of the liquor license and what you can do with the drink. Um, okay, I don't have any other questions. I'll make a motion to approve as presented. Okay. We have a second from Dennis. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, we have a motion and a second to approve as presented. All of those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you. 6C, action regarding requested site plan review for an industrial warehouse building, 2900 block of Ramada Way, parcel VA-228-24-K-9. Aaron. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should have said All right, uh, Hireman Construction uh, is proposing a uh, roughly 41,000 square foot uh, flexible space building, uh, warehouse industrial type use that would fit the, uh, the the uh, zoning for the area. Uh, they do currently own the parcel. It's been vacant for a number of years, uh, looking to develop uh, the proposed building on there. Uh, property is zoned uh, IP industrial park. And again, they are permitted uh, within that district. Uh, you can see the overhead right here. This is an existing building that they currently own. They are going to uh, have one access point here, a second one here for this property and then just maintain one access point uh, for the property to the, uh, it'd be to the south actually. So there's some shared uh, access uh, right here for both buildings. Currently there's an access point right here that will be removed. Uh, okay. Stormwater uh, is being worked on right here. Uh, a detailed stormwater management plan will, will be prepared uh, pending uh, site plan approval uh, prior to uh, construction. In terms of the design, oops, bear with me a second. There we are. Uh, elevations, as you can see here, uh, they are insulated metal wall panels uh, with concealed fasteners, uh, a minimum three foot masonry wainscoat, uh, as discussed uh, with the developer. Um, In terms of recommended conditions of approval, uh, screen any rooftop or ground mounted mechanical units visible from the property boundaries or public right away. Uh, all new metal wall panels are to include a minimum three foot masonry wainscoat. All metal panels are to utilize concealed fasteners. And then of course the catch all meet all applicable requirements of the Ashwaubenon site plan review and other applicable Ashwaubenon ordinances. Uh, we had no comments from engineering. Uh, from stormwater, of course, uh, prepare the stormwater management plan to be submitted and reviewed by Ashwaubenon Engineering. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Otherwise, uh, Chris Hireman is in the audience representing the owner and developer. Does anybody have any questions or comments or concerns? The west wall, I'm assuming, is facing Ramada Way. Would I be right? In yes. Yes, it would. 
Question I got, that's such a long wall. You know, could we put some color into that, couple panels of a different shade of the panel covering itself, I mean, the, the walls, like you do see in some buildings to break up that wall? I guess I'd probably defer to, uh, to Chris to answer that question. Chris, just to give mind? it some curb appeal. Chris, would you mind coming up here to answer that? And just speak in the microphone then. Could you state your name and address for the record, please, Chris? Sure. My name's Chris Hagerman, Hagerman Construction, 1030 Wabi Lane. Um, what we did was, instead of trying to bring some more color into the building, we went with some corner accents. Yeah, I see that. That would be glazing, but they're not going to be windows. They would look exactly like windows. You'd have to come right up to them and look to see if they weren't. I've done this on several projects, and it's turned out real well. They look like windows. And so we're going to come in with a very black, white window and a white wall and accent the building on the corners like I show. And then we're going to have black trim around it. We did a similar building for speedy delivery up in, out in um, Howard that looked, they turned out real well. Uh, is there any, shrub any shrubbery going to be around there? Just what we showing on the plot plan. Uh, it doesn't, I don't so there's, think it we do have the, uh, the stormwater pond in front and there is some shrubs uh, landscaping uh, oh, okay. in front. Okay, all right. Conceal fasteners is quoted on there as a, a must also. Okay, I see what you're talking about uh, as far as breaking up that wall a little bit. Um, okay, I don't have a problem. Yeah, the, the panel is a three inch composite panel. It's not, it's, it's a pretty nice unit when you get done with the building. It looks real clean. Is that a flat panel or a rib? It'll be a, a, what is known as a MISA panel. When you look at it from a distance, it would look flat but it's got some configurations in it to help with the oil canning of that flat material. So it does an oil can up. It looks real nice. Okay. Okay, any other questions or concerns? I'll make a motion to approve as presented. With staff conditions? With staff conditions. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve as presented with staff conditions. Any other questions, comments? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Yep. Okay, moving on, number seven, department reports. Um, so uh, our new building inspector, uh, David Busco, will be starting on Monday. Uh, so I'm excited about that, and Katie's even more excited about that. <laughs> uh, he'll be taking care of our commercial plumbing initially, and then he'll be working on obtaining all of his UDC credentials and uh, commercial building credentials as well uh, over the next 12 months or so. Uh, so that's, that's definitely the big news in our department. Uh, otherwise, Katie's been very, very busy. It's good. Keep her busy. Okay, number eight, items for next agenda. Yeah, we uh, have uh, a request from Woodside uh, for refuse enclosure, uh, Discover Green Bay. You may remember that we've approved it twice at site plan already, uh, but I believe this third time is the charm uh, for the Discover Green Bay Visitor Center on Argonne behind US Bank. So I'll be coming back before you again. Uh, and the uh, uh, we have for prepared a draft sign ordinance uh, that was in dire need of revamping and we'll bring that to site plan review committee as well uh, for our next meeting. Aaron, where are we on the uh, sign uh, signage on, on definition of how much signage on property? 
So that is all in there? It's all in that package? Yes, sir. Yep, we have temporary signage. I mean, it's a complete rewrite of the ordinance. Okay, it's the whole thing. Yep. Okay, will that come in front of the board uh, this month? They'll come to Site Plan Review Committee, Plan Commission, and Village Board in June. In June? Yep. So I want to make sure, unfortunately, we don't have, it has to go to, under statute, it has to go to Plan Commission. Plan Commission meets, of course, the first Tuesday. But we do want to get this new ordinance in place, you know, before the next primary election starts to really ramp up. Okay. <clears throat> Any other questions? Okay. I need a motion to adjourn. Move. So move. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. Thank you, everyone.